The GBAS Working Group actually started out here in the Experimental Center in April 2004 as a means of cooperation between the FAA and the European states interested in this technology. Today we are into our 15th meeting. We have almost 100 participants at the moment representing 18 nations with quite a number of uh, active GBAS programs ongoing. We have currently over, all over the world four stations which are in active public operations with another 10 projects ongoing at the moment and at least two to three new stations providing public operations this year. The aircraft are having more and more the GLS capability and the airlines and the airspace users, we feel that they will be asking to use more and more this technology. The International GBAS Working Group is really an excellent forum for sharing. Every state or NASP who has a GBAS program sends its representatives and share with us the lessons they learned during the implementation or the experiments that they did with GBAS. We are now looking into GBAS CAT 2.3 for which ICAO is almost completed with its re relevant standards and where we see the first needs coming up from airlines that are uh, representative of all our airspace users here at this meeting. Discussions this morning were very active already and we've had a lot of good feedback from all our user communities. The uh, International GBAS Working Group meeting is an excellent opportunity for us to share our experiences, the good experiences and the bad experiences on the approval and certification of GBAS. One of the good things about this International GBAS Working Group is that we do have people from all different parts of the user community. A working group like this where we've got um, smart people from all around the world doing all the work, uh, we can participate and contribute our experience but also learn from them. It's very useful to exchange views and uh, to, to share views uh, and to, uh, to come to better solution at the end. A very good opportunity to meet with um, the international team that is uh, working on, on the GBAS deployment. To be aware of the forthcoming deployment of a Grand Station within the airport, to, to be aware of uh, what happens in the, in the world about the, the GBAS. We are um, very proud to be here and uh, to see the development. We are giving input here from the airline side and uh, gathering information from the industry and airports and ATC. This event is uh, one of the most important uh, events of the year in terms of uh, uh, making our customers and service providers around the world aware of GBAS and its benefits and, and helping to streamline the process of getting it approved and implemented. It's very interesting. Uh, to show the, the feasibility of the roadmap uh, for multi-constellation and multi-frequency and also to, to see the, the operational aspects for both for CAT1 and for the CAT3 roadmap. It's a very unique uh, meeting uh, uh, for such people to get together to get together. We can now really say that this technology, GBAS, for Category 1 precision approaches has made its breakthrough and is in the, way, uh, in the process of being implemented.